Hi and welcome to my Photoshop basic series of tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to talk about bit depth. Um, you may come across this um, when opening images that sometimes they default to 16 bit, sometimes they default, default to 8 bit images. So we'll uh, go through of what this means and um, what we and why we use different bit depths. Um, to begin with we'll do a little bit of maths um, to explain so I'll just open a document up and firstly a pixel on the computer at its rawest state can hold one of two values this is either a naught or a one. Naught or one. So it has two states. It can either be black or white. Now we're normally talking about eight bit or sixteen bit. So if 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 a, w a single bit has two values, an eight bit image has those two values times two times two times two times two times two one, two three four five six times two times two. In other words, it's eight. It's two to the power of eight, which gives us a, a total of two hundred and fifty-six levels. Now, if, if the image was grayscale image, it only has one channel, so it would have two hundred and fifty-six levels from black to white. But most images we deal with in Photoshop are colour images, RGB images, so they have three channels. Each channel will have 256 levels of red, green and blue. So that is 256 times 256 times 256 and that comes to a total of 16 million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand two hundred and sixteen so an 8-bit color image can store that amount of colors if we were to talk about a 16-bit image we'd actually be going 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the power of 16 which is the total figure it comes into the trillions of colors or variations of colors now you might think this is way too excessive and sometimes it is as I think the eye can actually see just under 10 million different colors so why do we use imagery that can hold so much color information what's the point well a simple example and the reason for this is when you're open an image and you're editing it and saving it and editing it and saving it and editing it and saving it the image is going to break down it's going to remove colors it doesn't need I can demonstrate this by a simple example if we go into new and we just create an image that is say uh, 500 pixels wide by 100 pixels high and resolution of 72 and we'll call this 8 bits and we'll actually leave the 8 bit as it is so we've got that 
and we'll recreate that and create another one and this time we'll choose 16 bit and we'll call it 16 bit so we have two in two blank canvases one's 8 bit and one's 16 bit um, there I've named it 8 bit and it's RGB 8 bit 16 bit RGB 16 bit and although they're white they are color images and we can see in the channels red green and blue now I'm just going to create a simple gradient I'll go into creating gradients with you at a later date so don't worry about this this is just for showing you and I'm going to create a gradient on each image the gradient looks smooth perfect we've only used black and white so it's given us 256 gradations from black to white on each one now if I go in the 8-bit in, in the 16-bit image and go to levels you can see the levels here I'm going to adjust the levels so I'm going to compress the color into a range of between 100 and 150 so I'm actually pulling the blackest black to there and the whitest white there and compressing the gradations into a smaller area and you can see it there it's turned grey so I'll do the same with the 8 bit image I'll just type in 100 there 150 and again it's grey no difference the difference is when we come to edit it again if I go into the 16 bit image adjustment levels and you can see how the levels have been squeezed into a smaller area I'm now going to pull that area back so it's recreated our gradient and it's nice and smooth in the 16 bit if we use look at the 8 bit and do the same with that click OK because it had a a smaller amount of information you can see now that we added it it creates this banding effect and if we continue to do this the banding would get worse and worse so that's 8 bit and 16 bit the 8 bit it's 8 bit per channel so 256 values of red 256 values of green 256 values of blue it's 256 by 256 by 256 gives us a total possible color range of 16 million colors and because it's got three channels at 8 bit each sometimes it's referred to as a 24 bit image this can get confusing when you see 24 bit images it's not 8 to it's not 2 to the power of 24 it's just 8 and 8 and 8 the 32 bit image has the ability to save an alpha channel or a transparency as well as the red green and blue now not every file format will support this we go to file save as if we use TGA or Targa we can see that when we save it's asking us what bit depth if we chose 24 we'd lose our alpha channel so we're actually going to use 32 bit click OK and that would keep that would keep our alpha channel alpha channels we haven't touched on them I'll, give, I'll show you the benefits of using alpha channels it, it's used in the for 3d for transparencies and things I hope that's explained quite simply a little bit about bit depth and um, we'll touch on it 
again in the future uh, as and when needed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.